There are literally thousands of business tools and softwares out there that you can use to start and scale your own AI automation agency, which for beginners can feel pretty overwhelming. Over my five past years as an online entrepreneur and the more recent 12 months as an AI entrepreneur, I've struggled time and time again to find the right tool for the job, being sold the dream by an app only to waste countless hours and, and dollars really on tools that didn't provide. And that's why today I wanted to make this video to save you the hassle and the pain that I've gone through by condensing the hundreds of different tools that I've tried and tested out down to just the 14 must-have softwares that have helped me start and scale my own AI businesses to over $100,000 per month in revenue. Firstly, I'm going to be covering my recommended softwares for starting and setting up your AI automation agency to make sure you get off on the right foot. Then I'll be diving into the best softwares for actually building and delivering your AI solutions before ending with three personal tools that I use every day to be a more productive agency owner that have made the world of difference for me in my own businesses and personal life. Now, real quick before we get started i'm trying to better understand what kind of content you like to see what you don't what kind of stage you're at in your own business journey so i've dropped a form in the description below um, i'm going to be giving away a 20 minute consulting call to someone who submits on that form i'd really appreciate it if you can help us out and make this channel better for all of you guys so please check it out down below Okay, so firstly, we have Slack, which is your internal communications hub for your business. This is an absolutely uh, crucial thing for you to have set up initially so that you can handle all the communications with your team, but also communications with clients as well. So what you want to do is add all of your team members to your Slack workspace. And then inside the workspace, you can add client channels uh, on the left-hand panel. And what you'll do is create these as private channels. This means that you can add in just the team members that need to be attached to that particular client's project. And then also add in all of the clients and their accounts into that channel as well. So you have this little environment where all of the, the relevant people are in there on your side and also on the client side. You can keep all of communications sort of centralized there for the particular client. Slack also is very good for integrating with other services like Airtable or Zapier so that you can set up a bunch of automations to handle a lot of the processes as you start to scale your business moving forward. So good thing about Slack is that I think it's about $9 per person on the premium plan. So not super expensive early on and it really scales with your business as you grow. Secondly, we have Stripe which of course is to process all of your payments. So when you want to collect payments from your clients, you can send them a Stripe invoice and then they can pay via Stripe with credit card or they can even do other different methods as well. So Stripe is great, um, very easy to set up, takes a couple minutes. It's not available in every location, so your country might be different. One thing you need to be aware of when using Stripe is the processing fees, which is usually like a 30 cent per transaction and then maybe a three to 5% on the overall transaction, which can add up. And I think even for, for my business morning side, because we're working in AED, like Durham's, which is the local currency here in Dubai. We get really hit hard when we are receiving payments in USD and it's converted into AED. And then when we have to pay out of the business again in USD, we're getting hit with like multiple different transaction fees. It ends up being like five to five to eight, even 10% of the business revenue sometimes. So something to be very aware of, but Stripe is a good place to get started so that you can start accepting payments for your customers. Thirdly, we have Notion, which is like Google Docs, but with easier organization of different files, you get cleaner formatting options and really a ton of customizability in terms of how you want to sort of store your documents and present them and things like this. I've been using Notion heavily for both business and personal use this year. Um, for the personal side of things, I've been using a template for uh, Notion called My Second Brain, which is something that I've found hugely valuable and it took a while for me to get really fully integrated into it. But in terms of creating a second brain to manage all of your personal tasks and projects and documents and all of these different things, it was something that I had really lacked as an entrepreneur leading up into this year. But I found a template that's absolutely killer for it. I'm such a fan of this template in particular, that I reached out to the creator and I've been able to secure us a 20% off discount code for you as my viewers on the channel. Because I think it's so important for you all to get something like this just to start managing not only your personal productivity, but also the business side as well. So he has a, a template for personal productivity called My Second Brain. And he's just about to release what's called Business OS or Business Operating System, which I'm currently testing the beta out for him and I'm absolutely loving it. We are transitioning everything over at Morningside and all of my other businesses to use Business OS as our hub. This has really been a complete game changer for me. So I really want you all to at least check this out. There's gonna be a link in the description. Um, there's going to be the Business OS, which is on a wait list. I believe he's doing a 50% off discount for people who purchase early. So there might still be some if you click on that. Um, but on the My Second Brain side of things, there's also gonna be a 20 percent discount code for both of those if you use code Liam. So that information will be in the description. And the best part about this is that Notion itself is free so that when you buy one of these $97 or $80 templates that you're going to get it for, you can import that and that's sort of one-off cost 
that you pay to have a full document management and processing system for your business. Next, we have ClickFunnels. Now, if you've been watching my content for a while, you know that my thoughts on websites are that you can end up wasting a lot of time, especially if you aren't clear on who you are as a business and what you're going to sell. By setting up a website and things like this, you're going to waste so much time. Um, what ClickFunnels is, is sort of a happy medium where you can set up a, a quick one-page website using templates that they provide. And so you basically get everything you need and nothing you don't. You have a chance to communicate who you are and what you sell in a couple lines, and you can have a button to book in a call. That's basically all you need initially. Um, so ClickFunnels is a great way to get that up and running quickly. And I think it's a 14-day free trial, and it's going to cost you $127 per month. So website builder, if you're looking to start your agency off and you want to build a website for it, ClickFunnels is a great way to get that done in a couple hours instead of having to spend a whole week on something that you don't even know if it's going to really work for you. Next, we have True Conversion, which follows on nicely from ClickFunnels. What True Conversion is, is a heat mapping software that allows you to insert just a little uh, script, uh, a little bit of code into your website header. So on ClickFunnels, you can paste that in very easily. On any of these other website building platforms, you can just paste in this little bit of code. And what that's going to do is track all of the user behavior and, and data from how people are engaging with your websites, and then give that back to you on True Conversion with very, very actionable um, information to show how users are using your website. So this is hugely important important for you and it's even something that I struggled with my own 0 to 10k case study is that I had this uh, this landing page up and running. So when I saw True Conversion pop up, I thought that is exactly what I'm looking for to be able to sort of analyze what's working in my funnel and what's not. The reason I was made aware of True Conversion in the first place was the App Sumo team got in touch with me. Uh, Noah Kagan and his team have been very helpful in sending me over some potential softwares that you as my community and my, my audience might be able to benefit from in terms of applying them to your AI automation agencies. Now, if you're anything like me and you'd heard of App Sumo, but you weren't entirely sure about what they did and, and how it worked, basically it's a platform where you can get lifetime deals on software, lifetime deals on software for your business um, that you can go in and buy once and be able to use forever. So I thought this was a great opportunity when the team got in touch with me. I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a sponsored video. I didn't accept any money from them, um, but they did give me some software that I thought could be very, very beneficial for you all. And purely on the sort of price point side of things, I've heard a lot of complaints, sort of concerns about some of the software that I recommend being too expensive and sort of out of the price range of many of you. And when I saw these ones at uh, True Conversion that I've mentioned now and another I'm going to mention later, these are ways that you can spend sort of 80, 60, 70 dollars on lifetime software. Whereas the competitors, I think Hotjar is the main competitor for True Conversion in terms of making heat maps for your websites. Um, Hotjar costs like $50 a month or something. So you, you do two months of that and you're already blown over the price that you've paid for something like True Conversion, which I believe is $69 for a lifetime plan. So if you want to get some more inf information and insights on how people are using your funnels for your own business, and you can easily apply it to ClickFunnels, then True Conversion is a great way of doing this. I will have put some things up on screen of how I've been using it within my own funnel on the 0 to 10K case study. Um, so highly recommended. I think if you aren't already getting some more data like this on your website, it's definitely something you should do. So this will be linked in the description as well. Next, we have Closely, which is another AppSumo software that I was recommended. Um, they again have a lifetime deal. I think it's $118 for you to get all of the features for life on this platform. And what it does is combine sort of cold email outreach by platforms like Instantly with uh, cold LinkedIn outreach and sort of LinkedIn marketing and campaigns uh, on tools like Dripify. So it combines cold email outreach and LinkedIn outreach into one tool where you can set up multi-channel prospecting. So I've talked about this before and I think it is a really, really good way for you to be able to increase the touch points on the different prospects that you're reaching out to for your business. And when I saw this deal come through as, a, as a something that I could recommend to you, I thought, well, the price of something like Instantly and the price of something like Dripify, I think Dripify alone is like $99. Um, so when you combine those two and you pay for those three months in a row, you've spent like three or $400 in software, but you can spend, I think it's $120 to get uh, two of these different credits for you to get closely full access. And then you can set up all of your email campaigns. You can set up all of these Dripify sort of LinkedIn automation campaigns, but you can also combine them together into a really, really cohesive prospecting strategy to get more clients for your business. So lifetime deal again, you pay that price once, you're never gonna have to pay it again. So I'm using this within my zero to 10K case study to do the last episode where I get sort of the, the $10,000 in cash collected. So I wanted to recommend this. If you wanna get access to it, it's gonna be linked in the description as well. And finally, we have Loom. Now this is a no brainer for me. Loom is a platform that's sort of a, a super simple to use Chrome extension on your browser. And it's actually really great for creating video your resources for your team or for your clients say how to set up your voice flow accounts during your handoff process you can film a video once on loom and then you've always got that resource there and you can send it to clients so creating video resources using loom that allows you to save time in future is a very very good way of using the software now getting into service delivery, we can start off with VoiceFlow, which is my go-to bot builder. Um, it is an extremely powerful tool that 
really just keeps getting better and better with time. I've built, used a ton of different bot builders and I still go back to this. This is all we use basically within my agency Morningside AI. We can do very, very complex builds on VoiceFlow. Um, and even my upcoming release of my new AI Liam inside my accelerator is actually built on VoiceFlow. So all of the functionality, that's how good it is that we're even building our most sort of cutting edge tech off the back of VoiceFlow. So if you're not already using it as your bot builder, I highly recommend it. Um, and I'm gonna continue to keep using it. It's really the perfect mix between easy to use, but also able to build really complex functionality. So we can build a VoiceFlow chatbot, and then we can connect it to some of more custom functionality that we create sort of custom coded and we can connect that into VoiceFlow. But the, the chat experience, the interface, the deployment, all of that is handled on the VoiceFlow side and makes our development process much more easy. And at the end of the day, it makes it cheaper for clients to benefit from our solutions. For you as an AI automation agency owner, knowing how to create conversational assistance is like a, a cheat code right now because it's the main interface by which AI technology can interact with business, employees, and clients. So knowing how to build these chatbots and conversational assistance is just an absolute must have and VoiceFlow is my go-to platform for doing that. And in terms of pricing, VoiceFlow has a 14 day free trial and a $49 per month after that on the sort of most basic plan. Next, we have make.com. Now make.com is my go-to automation platform to really connect up different parts of the business, perform data manipulations, and more importantly for us, use the ChatGPT APIs and OpenAI functionality within automations very easily. So Make is my go-to over things like Zapier due to it having sort of a deeper set of functionality so that you can continue to progress for a long time and continue to get better and better and really be a better automation developer on that side of things. Your creativity and build complexity is not capped by the platform. With things like Zapier, it has a lot more limitations, but Make I've found has the right amount of depth for you to be able to really progress and become a really, really skilled developer on that side. And the pricing for Make is free initially and sort of scales with your usage. And I will mention that the usage costs are very, very affordable. Next, we have Relevance AI, which is an AI application builder. And they, they really try to keep it as low code and no code as possible. So it's sort of drag and drop, you can add things in and you can create these very, very powerful AI applications, not only for you to use personally, internally in your, in your team, but also to build solutions for clients. One of the things that really stuck out, stuck out to me uh, with Relevance was the ability to create all this cool functionality and then export that to a, a interface where your clients can then go in and interact with it and input data and then click a button and it generates it. So you can create these cool sort of custom web page applications for your clients, which I think is a very, very uh, high value add for clients. But they also have cool features like bulk run. So you can create an entire AI application and then you can run that thing that you've set up on every single row within a spreadsheet. So say you have lead data and you want to run a classification script on it, you can run 50,000 lines in a spreadsheet at once. So really, really cool functionality, not only on being able to export functionality to a, a interface for your clients, but also being able to do these bulk run processes as well. The pricing for relevance is free initially and it does scale up and allow you to pay more as you use more. Next, we have Airtable. Now, Airtable is by far the easiest way to store and manage data for your clients. It's something that I've gotten into more and more recently, as you've seen probably from my recent videos, but I really think it's a game changer when you combine it with things like voice flow or make or relevance, all of the things I've just mentioned. Whenever you're doing your chatbots and automation builds, it's a super easy place to be able to push and pull data programmatically, and then do all sorts of cool things with that data once you have it inside Airtable. So a lot of businesses are not tracking some of the data that they know they should be. And Airtable is a great way for you to come in and create a new database for them and set up all sorts of cool automations off it and really build a lot of value without too much work on your end. And Airtable thankfully also has a free plan available. Finally, we get into some of the more personal software that I use myself that I would recommend to you as an agency owner to maximize your chance of success. Firstly, we have Brain FM. Now, Brain FM is a website that allows you to play uh, music and audio that allows you to focus and keeps you locked in your focus. It's scientifically designed to keep you focusing for longer periods of time. Now, the truth is rookies listen to music while working. Uh, it's been proven time and time again by science that beats and melodies, they all hugely distract your brain when you're trying to focus. So don't be a dummy and try to think that you're different or special or a special sunflower or something, you're not. If you are serious about making money and staying focused and productive during the limited time you have available each day to get your work done, you need to ditch music and run Brain FM or, or an alternative all day instead. Now, this is something I've been using for coming up three years now, but it's only in the past year that I've completely replaced music with Brain FM. So myself, a bunch of my team members as well, just constantly have Brain FM running. And this is the only kind of music I listen to while working. Fortunately, it's only like $7 per month. So I'd highly recommend if you're still listening to music, you need to drop that stuff right now um, and start checking out something like Brain FM to use music to assist you in your focus blocks to get more work done. Next, we have a software called Rescue Time. Now Rescue Time is a time tracking and screen recording software that allows you to track 
the hours of productive work and distracting work that you do each day. So it's a little bit creepy and then it records your whole screen and everything you're doing. But for me, it's a fair trade-off um, because it's also gonna be blocking websites that I've set myself to not go on during certain work hours. And I've put this thing into practice over the past few months and I've actually been super happy with the impact that it's made on my focus and really just awareness of how I'm working each day and where my time is going. For many of you, I'm sure you're like me, at some point you go, uh, you get to the end of the day and you go, like, what have I what have I actually done? Like, where did all that time go? I can now go back to rescue time and I can look and see how I've spent my time during the day. Okay, I've spent a ton of time on Discord talking to people or you can analyze and break down how you're using your laptop and how you're using your computer during the workday. And most importantly, over time, you're able to see the trends, sort of daily trends, but also weekly trends. Okay, I did more work this week than I did last week. Really, really helpful and a big change that I've made this year that's made a lot of difference in my awareness of how I'm using my time. A link for you to try it out in the description. There's two different options. I personally use the analytics one on the right, which is a lot more simple, just tracking the time and giving you the analytics. You can try the focus one, but I haven't personally played around with that yet. And a great part about rescue time is that it only costs like $12 a month or something. So no excuse really. Any final software I want to mention is called Alami. Uh, this finally is an alarm clock app that has enabled me to wake up on time basically every single day um, I've ever wanted to. Now, Alami is a, is a alarm app that makes you set a whole bunch of different tasks. So for me, I have to click like four or five different like maths questions and then I have to do 20 squats and then I have to do 20 steps. Now these kind of tasks, it's not going to shut up until I do those tasks. So if you're anything like me and waking up is tough on most mornings for you and it's not your favorite part of the day and really getting some consistency in your life that's going to translate over to business success i highly recommend getting an alarm app like alarmy i hope that list of software has been helpful for you if it has please hit down below and leave a like on the video also subscribe to the channel way down there if you haven't already and you want to get more content on how to start and scale your own ai businesses all of the links to the software that i mentioned are going to be linked down below a bunch of them are affiliate so if you want to support me and the channel you can use those and if you have any other cool tools or softwares that you've used to help grow your agency, please drop them down in the comment section below. It'll be a huge help to myself and the community as well. And also a reminder about the channel feedback survey. I am giving a 20 minute consulting call away to someone who fills that out. So while you're down there, please fill out that survey. It would mean the world to me. Help me out a ton. So until with the video guys, I will catch you in the next one.